Firefox and Firebug. As said in the previous video, there are a few web browsers that can be used when browsing the Internet, like Microsoft Internet Explorer, Google Chrome, Firefox, Safari and many more. When working with web development, I would recommend Firefox because of the reasons being discussed next. Firefox has a tool called Fireback, which allows you to take a look at the HTML, CSS and many more aspects of a web page. You can even make changes to these aspects and see what the effect would be on the web page. And then, if you are happy with the changes, you can implement them in your web page. Important notes. The changes you make with Firebug is just local and will be changed back to the original settings when you refresh the website or when you click on a link on the website. Look at the example. I'm going to select the header on top. I'm going to remove it here. You see it's gone on top. And now as soon as you refresh your website, it's back again. Quick Web System only allow you to make changes to the cascaded style sheets and not any other aspect of the website like the HTML. To install Firefox, use your favorite search engine and search for Firefox download. Open the page and download Firefox and install it. Next, use your favorite search engine again and search for Firebug download. Open the page and download Firebug and install it. After Firebug has been installed, you will notice the Firebug icon on the top right side of your Firefox browser. Now you should use Firefox and Firebug to manage your website via the Quick Web Management Portal and to browse your website. First navigate to your website with Firefox and once it has loaded, click on the Firebug icon. The Firebug options will appear on the bottom part of your browser. We will concentrate on the options that are important for use with your Quick Web website. Let us explore the Firebug options window. HTML tab. This tab shows the HTML on the left and the CSS on the right. You can make changes to the CSS code on the right to see what the effect on your page is. CSS tab. This tab shows only the CSS code. And again you can make changes to the CSS code to see what the effect on your page is. Script, DOM and Net tabs. This is advanced options and will not be discussed here. The Inspect icon. Use this icon to inspect the CSS of a specific part of your website. Click on the Inspect icon. Navigate your mouse over your website and see that areas get selected with light blue lines as you move your mouse. Move your mouse to the top middle section of your website where the header is and notice the light blue lines around it and then click the left mouse button. Now see the CSS code for your header 
in the bottom right window of the Fireback Options window. Let us remove the background option and see what the effect would be. Important, take note that you keep the syntax intact or your changes would not work. If you do not like your changes, just refresh the page to activate the original CSS settings again. Notice that your CSS settings has been restored. If you want to implement the changes, make a note of them and implement them via the management portal, look and feel link, template colors, edit style sheet. Once you have saved the changes and published your website, the changes will be available worldwide.